Are you having trouble keeping your silver, gray, or even blonde hair from getting grassy? I know for me, it can be a huge challenge. Occasionally, I'll use an apple cider vinegar rinse or a clarifying shampoo, which does an okay job of brightening it up a little bit. But today, I wanna to share a natural product with you that's not purple, that brightens up my hair and gives it a ton of volume and takes it from this to this. But first, there's all different tones of gray, silver, and white hair. Knowing your own hair's fading tendencies, as I like to call it, will help you identify whether your hair is yellow and brassy because of outside factors, which we'll get to in a minute, or if it's just normal for you. For instance, my hair, I like to call grayish because my hair isn't that black and white you know, two-tone hair color. I have a natural tendency, even as a child, for my hair to go brassy from sun fading, uh, product and heat styling and all of that stuff. So it isn't going to have that bright white tendency all the time. So knowing that's gonna help you know whether you want to use this product or not, whether it's gonna help you. I like to say that our gray hair has its own pattern that's unique to us. I call it like a fingerprint. So learn to love it. Okay, I promise we're gonna to get to the product. But lastly, let's quickly talk about some of the things that can make our hair brassy. I can cover these in more detail in another video if you would like, but here's the short list. The environment, like pollution and smoke, whether you smoke or whether someone in your house smokes, Minerals from your water, like rust and iron in your well water. Build up from hair products. That's a video in and of itself. And we can talk about that later. And lastly, heat damage. The bad news is, is if your hair is damaged from heat styling, there's likely nothing that's going to bring it back because essentially it's burnt. It's like getting that good char on your meat or that golden brown on your meat. It just has to grow out, unfortunately. There may be some products like purple shampoo, uh, depositing products that can help brighten that up, but chances are what I'm gonna talk about today isn't gonna help too much. The good news is if your hair is brassy for any of those other reasons, environmental factors, product buildup or mineral buildup in your hair, I've got a solution for you. It's called Quick Silver Hair Clay. This is not a sponsored video. This is truly what I've been using for the last several years to restore my hair, give it bounce, take out the dullness, brighten it up, and kind of keep that yellow at bay without adding purple products. Purple products have their place, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. Quicksilver hair clay doesn't strip your hair. It actually detoxifies your hair. It uses a clay called kaolin clay. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it helps remove impurities, toxins, and buildup that are causing some of that brassiness. What I also love is it helps volumize my hair, um, at least to a point. My hair doesn't have a ton of natural body, especially since I stopped dyeing it, but it really gives it a lot of bounce and shine, and I love shine. So without further ado, here's how I use it. In a small bowl, mix up two to three tablespoons of the hair clay with enough natural colorless silicone-free conditioner like the Cure's Curiously Clarifying Conditioner and a few pumps of the Quicksilver hair oil or another 100% natural oil. You may have to continue to add conditioner until you can get it into an icing-like consistency. I take all this in the shower with me. Then after I wash my hair with the natural clarifying shampoo, like the one from a cure or even Hue's detox shampoo i turn off the shower and dry my hair a little with a towel before applying the clay mixture to my hair with my hand you don't want your hair to be dripping wet when you put this on you want it to be kind of towel dried then you want to really rub it in there and focus on the areas that are the most grassy or have the most yellow in them for me that's right in the front usually because that's where i'm going to Apply the most hairspray and then pile your hair on top of your head and put on a shower cap. I just use what I already have around. 
then leave it on for 40 minutes and go about your chores. Man, I wish I could full close this fast for real. When the 40 minutes is up, get back in the shower and rinse out the clay mixture. I kind of rub it in like I'm going to shampoo it. First, get some water in there, then rub it in and rinse it out really good. You could experiment and stop after this step, but because my hair isn't coarse, I like to rewash it. And I just use a gentle shampoo and I don't follow up with a conditioner because this is a conditioning treatment. I will often just let my hair air dry after this, but you can style it as usual too. If you're still struggling with brassy areas or areas that didn't get as detoxed as you would like, you can treat your hair again in a couple days if necessary. Okay, my before and after photos are pretty impressive. Although I'm going to admit they're not quite as dramatic, the results are not quite as dramatic as the photos show. Even though I took my photos with the same iPhone and standing in front of the same window, no artificial light whatsoever, only daylight. However, we probably have to account for the, where the sun was at different times of the day and how it was coming in the window. But you're going to have to trust me. I'm wearing different blue shirts in these photos. However, when I look at those shirts in real life versus what I see in the picture, they're pretty stinking close. So the results are still good. Let me know if you try the Quicksilver hair clay and tell me what you think. You don't have to take a shower in your bathing suit and take a video of it, but do take before and after pictures so you can see your own results. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Now go have a happy hair day. Love ya.